Hello there, everybody, and welcome to episode one of my new gameplay series for Heroes Adventure. So, for this game, I'm going to record my first gameplay experience. I've just played through the tutorial a little bit to get acquainted with the how-tos and everything. I've made up a build that I went to play, and we're going to see how that'll work out for us. I, I really don't know what I'm supposed to take account into. I went here for a skill that lets me move faster, and I went for a couple of things that give me some extra skill points. The only thing that I realize now is I want to go for something that might give me some dexterity instead. So there's a lot of traits in this game that you can't pick. Also a lot of martial arts that you can choose between. There's uh, tons of different skills, even musical combat skills that I find very, very interesting. But I felt like if I can main a staff fighter, I totally want to do that. So that's what I ended up with. We're going to look for something that gives me more dexterity points because dexterity is the main stat for your staff. And the more you play the game, the more of these points you get. I guess it's locked behind achievements. I have no clue. We're going to see how that will go. I went for some healing items. These are never bad. And let's go into the adventures of Mr. Vinegar Shrimp. I'll leave that name. Obviously, the people knew something about that name. The intro, you cannot change the volume of it, and it's all Chinese. So I really have no clue what kind of background story we're, going, we're getting told here. Here, the background story is this is the police, this is a thief ninja, and they will fight now, end up injured both. My hero turns out up, and I get to select which of both I'll help. So let's skip over that real quick. And there we go. The hero enters the scene. And now I get to select who I will help. Since I want to play a goody two-shoes character, I'm going to help the constable. On the other side, I think we could help here into a more criminal career. I don't know. Game is very sandboxy, so it's a pretty uh, obvious thing. I'll escape. I'll, I'll skip through that. To summarize, we're going to go through a little shrine thing where we can contain the criminal. We're gonna rest up here and sleep here, and next day we're going to have to get into the forest and fetch up some food. So that's the gist of it. We are going to help the police lady until she's healed up, and now she's offering us a skill for us. So we are going to go here for the um, revitalization technique. I don't know if this is really a good thing to go for. Maybe I should go for a damage increaser, but I feel like regeneration is never a bad thing. So tutorials, I already went over these when I was trying out the game. And we now get to sleep here for a while. Hmm, so, skipping over that, she's ordering us to get some food going. Just went to, want to go here into the actual gameplay as quick as possible. So, here we have the manual for the skill that I just gained. We have to confirm that we're going to learn that. Here we go. Oh, I want to pick up the incense here, and I'm going to pray. I don't know if that's a good thing. The pop-ups, what things do, disappear really, really fast, sadly. So we're going to go for the Lost Forest here. And there we go. Our mission, five berries. Our enemies the snakes of the forest, so let's have some fun with these. Combat in this game is pretty simple, cool, and straightforward. We have a grid-based combat system, and we have active skills, consumables, HP, and I don't know, we'll see how that'll work out in the long run. I have taken the liberty to make the combat go twice as fast because I I value my time, and I guess you guys value your time as well. 
if you feel like the combat is going past is going the animations are passing too fast let me know all right so we're going to get taught to sneak now so let me first fetch those berries there so we can click that and then we're sneaking so you see those snakes they have a vision range there we go and we are supposed to sneak past that vision range to get the berries so the snakes that we are encountering here are way stronger than the snake that we've encountered before i tried it they are really more powerful so let's be careful here that dude is being assaulted by snakes let's see I've tried to save him several times and never actually managed to. Let's try it one more time. Maybe this is also an encounter that you can only resolve successfully if you happen to be more powerful from previous life or anything like that. Just that poor guy, here they, they encircled him directly and even there was no chance for this poor bloke to even ex escape here, so... I don't know what the uh, idea behind that is. I feel as if this is a combat that I wasn't able to win at all. Anyways, so, let's see. We are looting some stuff here. Guess the belongings of that poor woodcutter. Okay, let's keep sneaking. I'm way too weak for direct encounters with these. Oh well, I can do them because I have lots of uh, Healy consumables, but I prefer not to use my consumables for nothing in particular when we can't just sneaky sneak through the whole place here. There we go. So we got all the berries that we need. It's time to make our way home to the shrine all right so it won't be the end of the world if one of those vipers would, would notice me but here dexterity xp i wonder what i need to do to actually increase uh or how much dexterity xp i need to gain to actually increase my dexterity by an entire point but that was pretty powerful i snuck past that thing directly it's pretty cool. All right, let's head back to the ruined shrine. Deliver the berries to the police lady. And make her happy. So she's going to tell us now that she's going to be needing three more days until she's fully recuperated and we can go and do whatever we want to in the meantime. So... We're gonna do that. Let's see, my character is still level one. I haven't gained any experience points whatsoever, so let's see if I rest here. How much healing does that yield? Not much. So it's now time to go for some classic Chinese viper slapping grind. We have time, we have a lost forest up ahead of us, we've got a staff. Heck. Nothing should stop me from here. I need to be back with the lady in two days. Let's see what uh, is behind there. There we go. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, this is a stronger enemy than the last time. i rather heal up myself. There we go. My character is considerably weak right now. Slap. Here we go. So, I was victorious. Did I level up by that? No, not yet. Dang. So, but I have more HP than before. Oh, interesting. <laughs> well, we're going to eat some of our food here to heal ourselves a bit. And let's go for the next Viper. Viper slapping. There we go. My regeneration technique is now kicking in. I obviously must have learned it 
after the last combat. And Mr. Vinegashroom has leveled up to level 2. So this refills our HP and MP, that's one good thing. And another good thing is that we've gained passive points. I don't know yet where I will spend mine. There's a total of six different paths. And, well, dear comment section, feel free to enlighten me what you would think that a good path for a staff fighter could be. I got no clue. I really don't. I just know that I'm going to slap some vipers. I'm gonna avenge Mr. Woodcutter. Poor guy. So these things, they become less dangerous now. And... Didn't I just loot something here? Let's see, consumables. Material. So, snake meat. Hey, it's a healy item. Snake gall. Yeah, I know that stuff. I know my cultivation. Snake skin. All right. Scrap silver. Right on. So, healthy. Satisfied. All right. Good. So, I bet that if I would leave this map, there would be fresh snakes. But let's uh, take down more of those neighing snakes. I don't know why they neigh. Shouldn't they hiss? Isn't that what snakes do? <laughs> Maybe Chinese snakes are more sound like horses, I don't know. I love the noise when I do a basic attack. This is one of my favorite uh, thwack noises. I think my choice of a main weapon is already pleasing me. Alright, so we're going to eat... Whoa, 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 whoa. I need to stop eating. I I have leveled up. Dang it. Alright, you're leveling damn, damn fast here in this game. So, come at me, Viper. Do your worst. Oh, I'm getting stronger here. Most importantly, the uh, amount of max HP on my character are getting better and better. And therefore... Okay, damn, that's easy. So I guess the revitalization technique that I learned was pretty good. So... What's going on here? Alright, I found a Ling Ji. Luckily, I played enough ACS to know what I found there. Oh! I... I'm in trouble, so... Oh, dear. So... I guess I'm pretty dead, am I? I can't imagine that I'm able to kill these guys, but let's see. Nah. I mean, one interesting aspect of my uh, of my character is that I seem to be able to attack enemies all at once around me, but... Well... I highly doubt that it will be enough to survive this onslaught. But maybe? I got healing items. Let's try it. I seem to stand in a way that number four is unable to join in with his friends. That might actually save my life. Because if they've been if they would have been four, I think I would have been really dead. Yeah, yeah, that might be. Might be the lifesaver here. There we go, only one of them is left. And I leveled up and therefore healed completely. Take that, pig. Alright. Good. I saw myself dead already. I need to check out how I can save my game. <laughs> this game has some wild random encounters. Alright. My hero. 
I leveled up all the way to five. So, let's see. Saving? Yeah, very classy. Good. Done that. That mistake is only going to happen once. So, explore skill, leveled up to level beginner. Interesting. So that was relatively well hidden, wasn't it? I like it. Okay. And a hunter. Okay, it's dangerous. Don't come over. Right? <laughs> I know these. I'll try to protect you. Cutie, I just took down an entire herd of these, my boy. Alright, I... I gotta say, his uh, his smacking is a little bit uh, more impressive than mine, but whatever, we're... Uh... Hmm... You know what, man? You, you, you do you. I, I'm just chilling here. You take that pig. Okay. Already discovered, there's no friendly fire, at least not from NPCs. Good. Something's not right. Yeah, okay. Right. Ah, boss pig. Okay. So they're talking pig speak. They're picking it out, basically. All right. Okay. I don't know what a Shishin is. Somebody wants to tell me, enlighten me. I wonder what that is. So, they've been talking. Alright. It's been annoyed about us making too much noise. Okay. Oh, he, he knows cultivation. Beast taming cultivation. Alright. So... Beast Mount Manor Disciples might teach me that stuff. I can't talk with animals here. Nice. Nameless Village. Lushiba. Nice to meet you, Mr. Lushiba. Hey, what's that snake doing there? Don't tell me there's fresh snakes all over the place now again. There is. Okay. That is uh, unexpected. Fame. Mood. Stamina. Okay. So, it seems like we've entered the second layer of the forest. Okay, another event. Bandit Camp. Mountain Bandit. Alright. Um, what the hell? Is he trying to kill the pig? Yeah. So, <laughs> we're running into people left and right that need help, hey? I'm a goody two-shoes character, so let's do this. But I'm helping a bandit. I'm uh, I'm somewhat um, doubting my my decision here. But in terms of narrative, I just say I don't know who I'm helping here. Okay. Damn his. Brutal Staff technique is better than my Dragon Staff technique. I'm annoyed. So I got Exploding Rage now. So let's see. Yep, just like I thought, I'm dealing way more damage due to that. Okay. I hope this guy doesn't decide to rob me now after afterwards. Uh, at least I leveled up. So, yeah, well, now we discover that he's abandoned. 
Uh huh. He's he's afraid that I'm stealing his treasure. Great. <laughs> so. Let's see. How can I turn my character? So... I don't think that I stand a chance against this guy, so let's see what happens if he beats me. Do I just learn that I shouldn't have gone that way? <laughs> So let's see what happens if you lose. Yep. This is uh, just what I expected. <laughs> er... So according to my clock here, this is the closest one? Eh. So we're... Uh, Okay, so, good thing that I saved after that. This guy is bad news. He's a very ungrateful, unpleasant person that I deeply despise. So, I have to play through that incident one more time. But, well, that's not too much of a big deal here. Since you can't skip through everything, this is pretty a pretty cool part of the game that... It doesn't really hurt me now that I have to do that another time. But I have learned out of that. I better save before I go around the new corner. Nasty Mr. Bandit. Very, very nasty Mr. Bandit. So. Okay. Let's save the game. I want to explore deeper here. And I I don't want to go for the all the snakes one more time. I mean maybe I need to, because the piggy pigs are just too hard for me. But we're we're going to see about that. Evasion. Ha! I can do the same, Mr. Pig. Boy, they are tough. So, I I think if I survive this encounter, I'm going to return back to snake hunting for a while. Jeez, these are really uncomfortable customers. So, Rage Exploded status is happening after I take a certain amount of damage, I suppose. I really don't know. Okay. So, I was able to level up from that pig encounter. Hmm. Maybe I should keep fighting these. Such a nice old school feeling, saving after each encounter. Alright. So, let's see. Oh yeah, that's uh, quite a different damage now. Okay, I, I really think that the regeneration technique was a good investment because it gives me a lot of longevity. I mean, every third turn, I negate one of his attacks entirely because I have healed up more damage than the entire attack does, which is really good. And let's see. Whoa, that thing's tough, man. And it did 57 damage. Can they do go also into rage mode? Seems almost as if. Alright, so I gained 70 XP, which was not enough to level up one more time, obviously. But luckily, what did we find? Max MP increases by 50. So I I did find a nice little treasure there. So let's eat some of that food. Uh 
So that'll replenish stamina and mood as well, you see. So it seems to me as if these monsters, they just respawn after a certain amount of time. Right? You see me now saving Paranoid. Okay. So that's how encounters with several enemies come together. Well, let's move back and slap some snakes on our way back. These should be absolutely easy pickings now. And I feel as if I want to check out that village next. Don't know. I, I don't really feel like I'm on par with these uh, pigs. And, well, probably I'm right about that. There's uh, some some really nice classic RPG vibe uh, going on with that. Oh look, we're, uh, we're we're attracting two of these beasties now. Nice. So yeah, mass combat is a thing, and you just uh, lure enough enemies together here. All right, there we go. So we're not going to stay alone forever. The screen pretty clearly shows that there's more. This is more of a party type of game, and this is really cool. I enjoyed this. This is a very, very easygoing and enjoyable experience. So we're going to slap some more vipers on our way back out of here. So probably you can save the woodworker if you just uh, don't go for him that early. Combat music rocks. I like it. Gives you that... Uh, that's those series of hero vibes. All right, there we go. Slow poke leveling, you know. Also pays off. Okay, so we're traveling over to the Nameless Village, but I am going to enter it in the next episode, my dear friends. I thank you so, so much for watching. This game promises to be a very, very entertaining experience. Next episode, we're going to explore the Nameless Village and maybe get our revenge on that nasty thug. Alright, leave me your comments, leave me a thumbs up, consider subscribing, I'd be really happy to have you. And have a wonderful day. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.